Uh, I would not necessarily recommend to someone who's new to this way of trimming feet. I can do it because I'm doing it by feel rather than by sight. Um, and it's just, it's a little easier. But if you don't know what you're doing and you don't see the foot, uh, you can go up too high. Um, so you can also, and I'll be going over this again, uh, you can do this same thing from the front. And I frankly, I like to do it from both sides. You end up with a neater job. Now, see, I've got um, the foot almost trimmed here. The borders can be very tricky here uh, because you think, oh, well, they don't have much by way of furnishings. I can just scissor around the bottom of the feet. Uh, and they can get, they can have almost no hair on their legs and they get very furry slippers uh, that don't cheat. <laughs> Tempting as it is. Because they will reward you with white feet if you scissor them. It'll go white real fast. Because they like to go gray real fast. Now, um... My left hand has no strength in it anymore. Now don't look at this, because this hasn't been done yet. We've not scissored around the bottom of his feet yet. To avoid this tuft of light hair that and softer hair on the hock, just like with the elbow. Uh, you're not going to solve it in one grooming session. But the way to begin to work it, and as you continue to work furnishings, comb it up. Anything that's sticking out above as you go down this ski slope of his tendon comes off. Then comb down. Anything, and I'm not even going to try to use these scissors to finish this trim around here, but I would trim with scissors just this little bitty fringe here. So anything that is sticking out there as you comb straight down, again, you pull out. That way, when you backcomb this to take advantage of the angulation, the line that you're going to get, and again, you're, you're going to fill this in as the hair density comes in, the line you're going to get is going to drop, his, the point of his hock is up here. You've moved it at least a quarter of an inch lower by gradually, and you don't need to bring them out to here. And then likewise, you've, this is a curve. You, instead of bringing this straight down, you bring it down and in just slightly at the base. And it makes, again, a soft 
very slight curve. Not to make him sickle-hocked, where you go out here and in, which is a very unsound characteristic. It's not something you're often going to see in a lakeland. Their legs just aren't long enough for that. And most of them are low. If they're that high in the hock that they'd be in danger of sickle hocks, that's not the direction they're going to go. They're just going to, the ones that are way high in the hock tend to lack angulation. And if anything, they tend to be cow hocked and rather bound up back here. They don't have, you know, they're, they're rather stiff and they move like this. So um, we're not talking about bringing it way in, but just the suggestion of coming in here. And if what I will do uh, up to about that point on both the boys and the girls for this part, mm -hmm. I'll strip it. Uh, if I've got some scragglies, when I use the clippers on the testicles or vulva, I'll go ahead and smooth this over. I won't come up here, mm -hmm. but I will into this because you then get it longer there and it can be very difficult to get this quite as smooth as you might like it and you end up getting it bald because the hair's not real thick there. Right. And so uh, I'll strip it and then go over it with uh, the clipper. And I don't, you don't have undercoat there, so you don't tend to lose texture. Are we looking for a straight line from here to here? Yeah, ultimately. Okay. Because again, this is, uh... 15 minutes. Yes, we've got 15 minutes of time. Okay. So theoretically, when this is filled in, mm -hmm. that's the way it's gonna gonna be. Right. Okay. That looks good. But it's not gonna hold because there isn't enough there to do it. Now, to finish off this leg again. Uh, the desired result, you want this line to curve. So you don't want this filled in here. You want to come down, in, straight down post. So we've trimmed the side, we've trimmed the inside. Now we're going to finish it off coming down the front. And I on the back legs, I tend to do this front part last. After I've trimmed the feet, after I've trimmed the thighs. Phew, that was scissored under there. Uh -uh. You also, you need to be aware and do the inside as viewed from the front. This is an area, again, that people often miss, and it will tend to push the hair out. As a judge comes up and looks at the dog, it's amazing how quickly uh, they can be distracted, and it also will affect the way the dog is seen to move. And again, remember, this now, it's not looking real good. I don't care.
Now this, since I've trimmed down over his hip from the outside, as I'm trimming in this line, I'm working more from the inside. This is an area, if you have uh, a dog with a wavy coat that is more prone to cowlicks, uh, this is an area where you can get cowlicks that can challenge your trimming skills. Um, and so just be aware. Um, probably the best way to deal with those is uh, to let, to make the part of the thigh here that you trim as part of the back coat, bring it up fairly high as opposed to down further, which on a straighter coated dog you can do and come into this. You'll trim it up higher and this area that so nicely does what it's supposed to do and won't be so cooperative on the curlier coats. Um, let it get a little more open. Uh, don't ask it to lie as flat and keep it comparatively short but standing out more rather than trying to force it to, because what it's going to want to do, instead of coming forward, it's going to want to all go back. And so uh, it's going to uh, take some extra effort. So, any other questions? Where's his elbow pain? Okay. Right there. Looking at his elbow and looking at the depth of his chest, the is hair. that still way too much length of hair under him? Put his head up. Okay. This needs to be shaped a little bit. Okay. Uh, so, I... I I'd take some of this off and, you know, taper that in. I think we're at a reasonable length there. It doesn't need to be any longer. But, uh, and I'd take half a pound off him. Not, I mean, he's not uh, grossly overweight, but... Uh, 